Hey, you know, we never did figure out that mysterious message. Guys, big news. A new world has shown up inside the journal. What do you mean? I've found another door leading to extra data. Somebody must have added it once all the other data was restored. And if we explore that world... Hmm. Then we should get some answers about this message. Great! Let's ask Sora to... Hmm? When we fixed the data, everything in the journal went back to the way it started. Remember? Which means that Sora's journey through the datascape? It never happened to him. Why, now he's just the same boy he was before he ever met any of us. I'm fine. My partition isn't affected. But Sora, we can't send him out there when he doesn't know what's going on. Oh. <clears throat> hmm. Wait! Hey, Riku! Could you help me get back into the datascape one more time? Sora, this was the day that your journey began. I know, because I was here too. It's time for the truth. Where am I? How'd I end up in this place? And who are you? I'm Mickey. I've come here from another kind of world. Another kind of world? Their hurting will be mended when you return to end it. It's a message, and you're the only one with the power to solve the mystery behind it. So we really need your help. Power? What's that? Whoa! What's that? You may not remember, but it's clear you still hold the power inside you. Think you'd be willing to lend us a hand? You might help us figure out the truth. Gosh, I don't have a clue what's going on. I don't, but at the same time, what you're saying feels kind of familiar. So this truth you're talking about, do you think it involves me somehow? Actually, I'm not exactly positive. However, I get the sense it's something important you need to know. If it's information that I'm supposed to know then, well... <laughs> okay, Mickey. I'll help. Thank you. Let's go. Just follow my lead. Whoa. So you think the truth's hiding somewhere in here? Hey. Nikki? Guess he went ahead. Oh, who are you? Me? I'm nobody. In this place, to find is to lose. And to lose is to find. That's the way of things, here in Castle Oblivion. Castle Oblivion? That's right. Here you will meet people you know. People that you care about. Uh, huh? It's a kind of card. With a picture on it. Use that card and press on. You will find the truth that sleeps up ahead. Well, wait! But how am I supposed to use this? He could have told me that much. And why does he seem so familiar?
Oh. What just happened to me? Oh, that card's special. It will cause you to see people. Well, illusions to be exact. They're from Jiminy's journal. It's all of the very same data that you worked so hard to fix. Jiminy? What did I fix? I don't get it. My mistake. Someone must have pressed the reset button on your memory. All you remember is leaving the island. Just the same, you'll remember the folks you meet here. At least you should. I don't understand. What is it that I'm supposed to do? Whatever you want. Huh? There's no script to follow. The journal's the closest thing you've got. But that doesn't mean you'll see the things it says. And who really cares? Everything that happens here, and everyone you meet, is just an illusion. So then, I can do whatever I want to do? Yes. Hey, come back! He's gone. Huh? Well, you did it again, Sora. Wait a sec. Riku, why are you here? I've got something that you need to see. It'll help you. Yeah? What is it? A hidden truth that's nowhere to be found, even in the deepest corners of your memories. It's something I want you to see, and something I want you to feel. I know you wouldn't ask if it wasn't really important. I'll do it. Thank you, Sora. Now, close your eyes. Wasn't that... Riku? And Kairi? That's right. I was on a journey to find you guys. Darkness had taken a hold of my heart. And Kairi had lost hers completely. But at the end of your journey... You would have saved us, Sora. Think about it. What did Kairi and I have in common? When you watched... What did you feel? Something you have in common. It was hurt. We had both lost ourselves. And we were hurting in a way we'd never hurt before. There's no greater pain in the world. I ask you, Sora. What would you have done? I would have helped you, of course. Both of you. I'd have figured out how to undo the hurt. I thought you'd say that. And you're right. You would. Or should I say, you will. That's a relief. Hey, then what was with the sneak preview? I just wanted you to see. You always make the right choices. On the road ahead, more than one truth will come to light. You'll forget things, lose things that you care about, and it won't always make sense. It'll be frustrating, and it'll make you angry. It may even hurt so badly you'll feel like you're about to lose yourself. But don't worry, Sora. That won't happen to you. You won't let it. You're like a sponge. No matter how much pain they throw at you, you'll suck it up and leave things a little bit better. Just follow your heart. 
and you can change the lives of not one, but many. You got it. Take care, Sora. What? Weird. No one's here. Well, Sora? How was it? Did you have fun chatting and hanging with the ghosts? You shouldn't call them ghosts. Sure, something was a little off, but I'm certain those three are still my friends. Friends? You don't say. So then, what were their names again? Tell me. Oh, I don't even have to think. Uh, what? Why can't I... remember? I know them. Like I said, everything in this castle is just an illusion. And once the illusions vanish, you'll forget all about your little reunion. I'll forget? Hey, no big deal. The fact that you can't remember them just means they weren't very important to you to begin with. Isn't that right? That's not true! Of course my friends are always important to me! Okay, maybe I forgot what just happened and who I met inside that room. Trust me, I know I'll remember everything again. Hmm, sure. More cards? All of these cards were created from the data in the journal, and all of them will show you more illusions. But from now on, the illusions won't be of your friends. You're fresh off the island, which makes everyone you meet total strangers. Here's a fun little thought. The folks you're about to see, you can fight them all you like. Huh? What do you care? They're only strangers. Actually, illusions of strangers. Just a collection of empty bits of data. They won't be able to make the distinction between what's real and what's not. They'll look at the white walls of this castle, and what they'll see are the worlds they call home. Anyway, the truth would be wasted on them, so why bother? They're only there until they're not. Do you see where I'm going with this? Nothing's real. You can break the little hearts they don't have and then forget about it. No hurt feelings, no baggage. It's that simple. You don't have a heart. It's 100% guilt-free. That's what you think. What? It's obvious you know nothing at all. Everything you say is a lie. I might have the strength to hurt someone. But what exactly would be the point? I know that it would tear me up inside. That ache would stay with me for a long time. You might not know it now, but I hope you'll see that nothing is guilt-free in this world. You've arrived at the first question. Huh? What's with that guy? So, with these cards, I'm gonna run into people from the past. I have no idea who, but it'll be fun. I wasn't kidding around. I really can't remember who it was I met just now. Or can I? Hmm. I give up. I don't remember. That's weird. I don't know what this is. Wait, is this... what heartache feels like? Just thinking about them... causes pain inside. Hold on. 
If I really forgot about all those friends completely, that would mean I shouldn't be missing anyone. That makes sense. So, I haven't forgotten all of it then. There's got to be more I still don't know. I just need to find something to trigger my memory. Nice! Here goes! So, Sora, how was your time with... who was it again? I can't remember anything at all. But you already knew that, didn't you? You seem pretty calm. Guess you decided they weren't worth stressing over. Out of sight, out of mind, right? That's wrong. What? It's like you said. Everyone I met, I can't remember. But still... I'm frustrated that I've forgotten them. I feel moments of loneliness. You said there would be no hurt feelings, but I am hurting. When the memories are gone, they just leave a hole. And having that longing inside me hurts. But it'll help me somewhere down the road. It's the key I'll need to unlock all my memories. Right on schedule. The sadness of knowing you forgot someone who matters to you. Something like that will gnaw at you forever. But you believe that somehow by carrying around that kind of hurt, you'll be able to retrieve the memories you lost. That's what you're thinking. Right, Sora? Right. <laughs> What's so funny? I can't believe you fell for it so easily. Huh? I told you when you arrived. Remember, in this place, to find is to lose, and to lose is to find. Well, you've lost your memories, and the only thing you found in return is hurt. And by deciding that hurt was the key to remembering, you gave up all hope of ever being free from it. The hurt owns you now, Sora. Don't you see that? It's a wound that will never mend. That hole in your heart will grow bigger until darkness finally claims it. The darkness? Was this all just a big trick to pull me in? Afraid so. And all it took was a handful of illusions. Your heart was just way too easy to break, Sora. Not true! It's not too late to run. Huh? Why should you keep the herd inside? Just tell yourself you need to forget about the people you met in this place. You'll have no one to miss. No cause for loneliness. No hurt to keep eating away at your heart. Sora, it's your call. Cling to the memories you've lost. And the hurt they bring till you're dragged into the darkness. Otherwise, let it all go, and then you can be free and happy. 
The decision is completely yours. Wait! <sighs> Should I use this? But if I were to do that, then I'd meet a friend and forget right away. I don't know if I want that. It's just going to bring more hurt. And if he's right, the darkness will eventually take over me completely. But I don't see any other way out of here. Guess this card is my only option. That is, unless I let go of the hurt. Once I go out of this room, I'll forget all about what happened and everyone I just met. Instead of carrying that hurt around until it consumes me, maybe I should let it go. What's inside my heart? What am I supposed to do? I feel so lost. Hey, Sora! Can you hear me? Sora! I know that voice! Mickey, is that you? Where are you? Sorry, Sora. I'm still trying to find a way to get to you. Right now, the best I can do is to send my voice to where you are. It's okay. Hey, Mickey? Maybe you can help me with something. I keep forgetting people I meet in this place. And this guy says if I dwell on what I've lost, the herd is going to take over me. And I don't want that. I understand. Question is, are you okay with letting go of the folks that you've forgotten? Huh? Who are they? Well, even though you may not remember them, they definitely remember you. You'll always be a really close friend to them, no matter what happens. Yeah. <laughs> And even if you don't ever really know who we are, I hope you'll remember that. You'll always be special to us. Who are these two? I don't think that we've ever met. But I feel like... I know them. Memories can disappear, but feelings don't. Not even when your data was reset. Inside your heart, the adventures you shared with the friends you made in the Datascape will always live on. And you know what? I'll bet that's also true for all the time you spent with the folks that those cards showed to you. So it's not what's missing that's causing the hurt. It's actually what's not missing. If that's true... Hey! Uh oh Looks like I've used up too much power! I'll be there soon, Sora. I promise. Just try and hold on a little bit longer for me, okay? Mickey! I'm all alone again. I hate feeling like this. Oh. I wonder, does this count as hurt? If I let it, will this pull me into the darkness? I can do this. There's no going back. Just one more card. You've used up all the cards, I take it? I would ask if you enjoyed your little trip. But we both know that you've forgotten it. That you're feeling pretty empty. No, I'm not. 
I may not remember who I met, but I do remember that I met them. And knowing that I've forgotten them, I miss them. So you hurt. I warned you. Don't you remember what I said? That hurt will drag you down into the darkness. You have to get rid of all of it. No, I don't. I can keep the hurt because it reminds me of something important. It lets me know that what I've forgotten is crucial. That's enough. I won't run from it. It'll stay inside of my heart until the day I remember. The darkness will take you first. If I put the hurt aside, I'll lose my ties to all the people I care about. My mind's made up. I may end up falling into the darkness, but I'll carry this with me. I'll only get rid of it when I remember everything, and not a day sooner than that. I'll keep the hurt with me for the time being. It's all that I have. It's what holds the pieces in place. I accept that. You say you accept it? It's not a game! Oh. Oh. It's way past time that you learned what real hurt feels like! <laughs> me off. Why won't you do it? I get it. You've seen through my disguise. I'm just like everyone else you've encountered in this place. Made of data. I'm not even worth the effort. Is that what it is? Guess there's no point in destroying something if it never existed. Is that right? Not at all. You say that you're an illusion, but you certainly pack a really big punch. You said that you'd show me hurt, and you weren't wrong. <sighs> Actually, the hurt that I just felt was more than that. Sure, it might have hurt while we were fighting, but I sensed a different kind of hurt from you. It was kind of like... an intense, sharp pain. But it... felt sort of familiar. Almost like it was my own. As if we'd been connected. Like right then we shared the same hurt. If somehow... it brings me closer to people in that kind of way... <laughs> then carrying around a little hurt can't be all that bad. <sighs> can't be all that bad. All right, I give up. Here. <laughs> you pass, Sora. Congratulations, you understand hurt. Now, use this to find the truth. What do you mean? My role was to see if you were ready to take ownership of the hurt inside you. And now that role is done. Nothing left for me to do but go away. Are you gonna go back home? I don't know if I really have one. There's a place I'd like to be. A place? Uh, where? Oh! What's this feeling? I've got memories that don't belong to me. A place to call home. And a sunset that's comforting. 
first and my last summer vacation. You can rest easy. I've got you now. Mickey! I'm so glad I finally caught up to you. Sorry that it took me so long. I know you ended up having to do all the work on your own. I just couldn't get here sooner. It's okay. You're here now. Look, if I use this card, it'll lead us to the truth. Is that right? The message said their hurting will be mended when you return to end it. Maybe now we can finally... solve it. Let's find out. It's like when I met Nikki. I don't know you, but you're familiar. Nice to meet you, Sora. I am Nomine. You may not know who it is I am, but I know things about you. Uh, so what exactly is going on here? Sora, maybe I can explain. There was a time when you lost every one of your memories. But everything turned out to be okay because Nomine helped you through it. Wow, you really did that for me, Nomine? You deserve a big thanks. No, I don't. I put your memories back together. That part is true. But it was also me. I was the one who took them apart in the first place. Huh? Not only that, the reason all of the bugs appeared in Jiminy's journal, that was me. What? Oh, tell us what you mean. It all began with these memories that were sleeping way down deep, deep in Sora's heart. These are my memories? Actually, no, they're not yours. They belong to people who are connected to you. Huh? Isn't it weird for somebody else's memories to be inside me? Yes. Usually it's impossible. When I first found them while repairing your memory, I thought I had made some sort of mistake. But then, after searching for answers, all the evidence I found proved they belong in your heart. Sora will have to awaken these memories. But this is where they will sleep until that time comes. They are important. And yet, dangerous too. Nomine, how are they dangerous? These memories, all of them are too painful. Handled the wrong way, they could damage Sora's heart, even break it. That's why... I needed for Sora to find a way to face that kind of hurt. So I left the message for all of you. Their hurting will be mended when you return to end it. That was you! You're the one who left us that message! When I unraveled Sora and the others' memories, it also erased the words in Jiminy's journal. That book was filled with pages and pages of memories from your first adventure. It shows how deeply the journal and Sora are connected. When I took Sora's memories apart, they stayed in his heart. It may have looked like they were gone, but they were there the whole time. 
Even after the text disappeared from the journal, the memories remained. That's why you were able to render them as data. Yeah, but the data we got was a mess. And then all those bugs appeared. Jiminy never wrote about any bugs. That was... Me too. When I added these memories to the journal, I also added all this hurt. I thought that maybe if you fought the bugs that sprang from these memories, you might learn to face the hurt in the memories themselves. So that's what it was. I didn't realize you had to go through so much trouble to get us to investigate this hurt, Naminé. I'm sorry. I wish I could have told you this in person. But the real me is gone. She doesn't exist now. Uh, guys? You kinda lost me a few minutes ago. <laughs> you don't have to understand it. You have already learned how to face the hurt, Sora. I did? You most certainly did. At times, the pain can be wiped away. But there's also a pain that always stays with you. There's only one way to deal with that. You face it head on and then you accept it. And if it happens that the hurt is too great for you to bear it alone, well then you turn to a friend close to your heart. Oh. It'll bring us closer together. The hurt will only make us stronger. <laughs> I'm willing to try. I'm ready to face all those memories that you found. It might have to be painful, but I can take it. Sora! Wait. You're not in this alone. Always remember, I'm here too. Yep. <sighs> Thank you. Just touch this. Don't be afraid. You'll feel all of the memories that are locked inside flow right into your hearts. Uh-huh. These are hidden truths. Sora has been keeping them locked away, deep inside of him. Remember, these memories you're feeling, they don't belong to him. Naminé, that's you. Who's the other girl? She feels so familiar. And something happened. Something terrible, didn't it? They're waiting for Sora. He's the only one who can put an end to their hurt. Diz told me he hid something inside you during the year you were asleep. I asked him what, and all he would say was that he was clearing his conscience. Sora must be the key to saving the people you saw. And the ones you're about to see. It can't be! Maybe you know how much they're hurting. These three were keys too. They were connected to the Keyblade's truth. And... They're still connected, Sora. Somewhere way down deep inside of you. Funny. 
I feel as though I've met them. Yes, two of them you have met. As for the third, I never realized it, but you and he share a very special connection. Yeah. Namine, you said Sora has to call these memories to the surface. Is it time? I can't say for sure, but I do know. A day will come when they must rise from their sleep, and then the only one who can save them will be Sora. The bond they all share? That's gonna be the key, right? Don't worry, Namine. I'll make sure I pass this on to Sora. You know, the one in the outside world. Mm. Please do. Okay. <laughs> well. Just a second. Huh? Our promise. Your promise to the me I don't know. You kept it, right? I may be gone, but my promises to him are forever. And anyway, I owe this much. For all the... all those people that I hurt. So what happens to you? The one that's right here? I'm really just data made to pass along a message. I shouldn't exist right now in this journal at all. And now the record of me will disappear. But when you pass my message on to the other Sora, just remember to tell him the things that you've seen and that you felt. If you do that, then we'll be at rest, her and me too. Along with everybody connected to Sora. Namine, you got it. <laughs> oh yeah. Hmm? I almost forgot. I have a message for you too. Thank you. <laughs> and so ended our journey to connect those memories with these. Sora, when Namine's words are passed on to you, when the day comes that you learn of this great unknown and mysterious adventure, it's important that you understand. Whatever you feel in your heart, that's what he felt in his. I wanted to tell you right away about memories from the past that sleep within you. And... about the pieces that will tie you to your future. Sora, Riku, Kairi. The truth behind the Keyblade has found its way through so many people, and now I know that it rests in your hearts. Sora, you are who you are because of those people, but they're hurting, and you're the only one who can end their sadness. They need you. It's possible that all your journeys so far have been preparing you for this great new task that's waiting for you. I should have known there were no coincidences, only links in a much larger chain of events. And now the door to your next journey is ready to be opened. I think we're finally close to figuring out where Ben's heart is. Is that so? Then that leaves only Terra. Right. And we've got to save all three of them. Hmm. The question is, what does Xehanort intend to do next? Xehanort? But his two halves are gone. 
There was Ansem, who commanded the Harmless, and Xemnas, who commanded the Nobodies. Didn't Sora defeat them both? Correct. Those two met their end. However, therein lies exactly our problem. Their destruction now guarantees the original Xehanort's reconstruction. Huh? Xehanort's heart, once seized by his heartless half, is now free. And his body, which had become his nobody, has been vanquished. Both halves will now be returned to the whole. In short, this means Master Xehanort will return. And you think... you think that maybe he's gonna try something? A man like Xehanort will have left many roads open. Well, it doesn't matter what he cooks up. Me and Sora, we'll be ready. And Riku, too. Yes, they are indeed strong, but not true Keyblade masters like you. Tell me, would a single one of you suffice if what you faced was not a single one of him? What? What do you mean? Mickey, please summon Sora hither. Riku as well. Of course, but why? To show us the mark of mastery. Often I get visitors. Please, call me Aqua. Why are you sitting here all alone in the realm of darkness? How did you end up here? Well, I can tell you this is my second time on these shores. But unfortunately, much like the first, I do not remember who I am or whence I came. Everything was washed away in whatever currents carried me here. That's too bad. I know I've been here a long time. Wandering through the endless hours. Unable to escape. You wish to return to your own world? It's my friends. I promised I'd be there for them. Your friends. Somewhere in the scraps of memory I have left, you remind me of a boy I once knew. He is very much like you. True to his friends and kind, this boy travels to many worlds and fights to keep the light safe. Keep the light safe? I've been away too long. Did something happen out there? Are the worlds in danger? Sad to say, they nearly fell to darkness more than once. But at every turn, that boy arrived with Keyblade in hand to save the day. Huh? Wait a sec. Is his name Terra or Ven? Neither of those, I'm afraid. Should have known. How long has it been since I met him? At least a year now, perhaps more. Back then, my heart was clouded with vengeance. I did terrible things, both to him and his friends. I brought unhappiness to more lives than one. I felt something must be done. Was that why? 
a means of clearing my conscience, or perhaps out of a sort of scholarly instinct. While the boy slept his long sleep, I hid the results of my research inside him, transplanting the data to where it might best serve a purpose. In fact, I would like to believe maybe he can set things right. A boy like him who touches so many hearts, he could open the right door and save all those people whose lives I managed to ruin. So many are still waiting for their new beginning, their birth by sleep. Even me, and even you. What's this boy's name? His name is... Sora. Oh. Riku. Your mind's made up? Yeah. Just, they really need me. I have to go. I am who I am. Because of them. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> 